and welcome back to another vlog so it is now monday um start of a new week it is i think the 17th today i spent the weekend recovering from brighton because honestly i thought i was on death's door pretty feeling pretty blessed and grateful to be here today and i'm very excited about that vlog so i cannot wait to edit it at this point i have six vlogs ready to upload and you know i always get my vlogs up so quick my laptop has been broken for weeks so today me and Aiden are literally off to Milton Keynes because that's my closest Apple store, 45 minutes away, which is quite a long time I feel. Hopefully get it fixed or get it in the process of being fixed. I'm not expecting to ha have it returned today all like ready to go. Uh, I just need to start the process of fixing it. Like I just haven't been here and Apple Genius appointments are so, have been like so rare to get at the minute that it's usually like a week in advance you have to book. So um, hopefully today I'll be able to fix that. I am using wipes um, purely because all of my face halos need to go in the wash, um, but they are biodegradable, so please don't come for me. So I'm literally just getting ready to go Milton Keynes. I'm gonna stop at Aiden's quickly. I need to do my makeup a little bit, um, and then we'll be off. But um, my outfit of the day is this little jumper from Champion. It's I have a top underneath that I brought from Primark yesterday, just because I know it'll probably get a bit hot later or a bit humid. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing this little sort of ecru colored champion sweater i've got my new primark mom shorts on which are amazing um i really actually recommend them I have and then i'm wearing my new trainers which i need to actually show these are nike air force ones i've never actually owned a pair of these but the amazing emma customs this these this is her out on instagram yeah she has designed these well we sort of like designed them together it's nothing extravagant because i'm a basic girl at the end of the day but she does like these incredible sort of like artsy creative designs on like air force ones and shadows and they literally look insane um and this is quite out there for me look how sick they look so detail is just insane um but yeah so i've gone for sort of a yellow and a taupey stony sort of color and i think they look absolutely stunning so i'm taking them out for their first wear today i'm actually very nervous because i don't want to ruin them because you know i'm very clumsy and messy but i think they should be okay but they literally look so stunning i'm obsessed with them so yeah i'm just gonna whack these on head to maidens do my makeup and then be off i've also got this bag from primark look how stunning it is i had my boohoo one that i've been loving so much if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i wear it with pretty much every outfit um but i decided to get this one from primark because they are my new set favorite style of bag ever pop open and close if that makes sense so the mechanism is a little bit like different from your average bag but everything is so safe there's like a little zip pocket in here um, and it's just so spacious to get everything in and we also have like a strap that you can shorten and lengthen depending on where you prefer it but yeah, I just love that it's a very versatile piece and like if I wanted to have it as a clutch bag, I can like tuck the handle in and we better get off before it's too late and we don't make our appointment. So we have just arrived at Milton Keynes um, and we're just about to try and go fix my laptop or get it in the process of being fixed. Um, I'm really quite stressed out about it because I have no idea what they're going to say. I'm really hoping it's a main logic board problem though because that means it's their fault and that they can't charge me essentially. Well, it Even if it is, if you haven't got a fault you if you've not got one of the faulty ones mm -hmm. and your logic board's broken, then you're paying for it. So. But there is a chance they could be a faulty one because um, I got it this, the year that there was like loads of problems with MacBook Air, so fingers crossed it's all good. Right, I'm gonna get masked up. These are both from um, Pretty Prints, Pretty with an I. Both got them from. Um, Ellie, she's amazing. I'll leave her thing down below because loads of people always ask me where I get my mask from. Right, let's go. Let's go try sort this problem out. We have just gone to Wagamama because Wagamama because I am really sad. My repair is going to cost four hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah. Um, so not? not sure I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to be getting a new laptop because it's pointless to 
um, spend that much money when it's more efficient to buy a new laptop rather than making like, economically viable, Aim said. Um, <laughs> um, so we're just trying to sort of like pick ourselves up by getting a wagon mama. So I'm we're getting the best sides which are ebi katsu, chili squid and chicken gyozas and then I'm getting chili chicken ramen, no surprise there, and Aiden's getting what are you getting? Uh, sirloin steak teriyaki soba. This one up here. It's that dish right there. It's that this one here. But yeah, so I got the awful news. I, can't, I don't know if you could have hit, you heard me in the last clip, but basically it's going to cost me £420 to fix my laptop. The guy in the Apple store was actually really lovely. They're really quite um, intense with the whole COVID situation, weren't they? That we had like separate queues, like they were questioning whether we, like, I don't know, they were just very on it. But yeah, the guy was really lovely and he sort of like took my laptop back after we told him like the whole story and he came out and he was like, it's not going to be good news. I was thinking, fucking hell. And then he goes, it's going to be £420 to repair your logic board, which is what we eventually found out was the problem. Like Aiden's really good with all this sort of like computer stuff. Um, like the internal side of the computer, because I have no idea, as you can probably imagine. Um, whereas like Aiden's done like modules and stuff at his uni that have enabled him to like understand shit like that. Um, which is obviously handy for me when my work at the minute literally revolves around a la sitting on a laptop. We've been umming and ahhing and we think the best solution would be to get a new laptop because it's sort of going to be more beneficial in the long run. Like It's more so the fact that my laptop has been sort of like used a lot for a literally every day for like three years and there'll probably be like problem after problem from now won't there so it's worth getting a new laptop basically so i think that's what we're gonna have a little look we've both still got our soon discount which should hopefully help and then um, we try and repair that slowly yeah we yeah we're hoping to be able to sell um the laptop on ebay at some for point parts, yeah, so whether that's parts or as a functioning laptop again, we don't know. Because I literally have everything on there. So not only like all my editing software and things that I do, I also have like all my Excel spreadsheets for like the business with consistency and also for my own like tax and stuff. So I'm going to have to redo all of that if we can't get it off the SSD. Was that the right terminology? Yes. So yeah, just got a lot to sort of consider, but I'm glad that we know the problem now because I think it was really great and on me not knowing what was wrong with my laptop and having no sort of direction as to what to do next so at least we know now that that is the issue um and yeah i'm just gonna head home and i'll let you guys know if i do end up buying right so it is now tuesday um i ended up buying a one of the new macbook airs yesterday but i've just got into london and it is dead it's really quite scary <laughs> barely anyone at st pancras um and I am just about to go and head towards Stratford for a meeting with my manager Jamie. I'm actually really excited because I haven't seen him in so so long. Um, but I just had to quickly grab some water because I was so thirsty on the train. So yeah, so weird this being this dead. Like it's usually rammed and everyone's like barging past each other and there's like, what? So it's just, I can't believe it. So I am currently in the Westfield Primark having a little shop for um, the content I'm creating with them on Instagram. I've got a little bag here, I've got some homeware bits that are really sort of boring and adult-y oh, and then but yeah, I'm just going to do this then, I think I'm going to be heading back. My food with Jamie was amazing, it was delicious and it was so nice to have like a proper catch-up so I'll chat to you more when I get on the train or when I'm home. I have just got back from London, I actually had to sit in St Pancras for about three hours because the first train I could get was at seven, um, but we're back now and i've got a big parcel from HelloFresh, so i'm gonna open it because um last time they sent three like really cool um recipes that they've just released i don't know if they're sending me the other three veggie recipes because they released six so i don't know whether it's gonna be that or what but we're gonna have a little look and um, really <laughs> oh honey and sesame crusted oh lots of halloumi in these oh so we've got cheesy pizza with garlic mushrooms and tomato salad oh that the salads like the salad i made last time was so good really yeah like it, the dressing that i made was so simple but it was like perfect so maybe i'll do that again then we've got indian styled baked eggs 
I'm not a massive egg person, but um. Chickpeas, no, I'm gonna go check Yeah. Eggs. This one. We've got honey and sesame crusted halloumi, which also looks absolutely delicious, and that comes with with taboule. Taboule. I've never heard of that. Sounds what is taboule? What are we thinking, everyone? Mozzarella for pizza. And we've got these. Nice oh, things. yum. I don't know why they've sent those, but I'm a fan of that. What is it? Godiva, they're my favourite chocolates. Mm. Why have they sent that? So random. Another balloon. Godiva, caramel. It's the caramel lion. They do little. Ca your shop can probably do them. Caramel lions from Godiva. absolutely incredible we had the pizza and the sesame toasted halloumi that was just incredible like that halloumi is amazing i've had that um in the previous hello fresh box it was so good and um, you'll have seen that in a few vlogs ago i think um but whilst i was out in london today my boyfriend kindly went back to the apple store in milton Keynes, and he picked up my new child um, so we're gonna give it a little unboxing. I actually got the student deal. So with that, I got 10 or 20% off? 10% off. And um, they also chucked in a pair of free AirPods. So um, I don't think I'm gonna actually use this. So I probably will end up selling them purely for the fact that I will literally lose them the first time I use them. And I've already got headphones, so I don't need them but they retail at 160 pounds, so. And then I've got the most recent um, release of the MacBook Air. So this is like an upgrade from my last one, essentially. Um, and Aiden will help me go through the details. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Air. It's got, a, got an Intel Core i5, which I have no idea what that means, but Aiden says that it's really good. Eight gigabytes of RAM, you've got Five hundred twelve gigabytes of SSD. Which is like I don't really understand much of this, but Aiden, Aiden's really good with this sort of shiz. So he helped me pick you the right one that for me. Basic Intel graphics. Um, and I had to buy some bits, which I'll show you tomorrow. Um, they came with from Amazon today. The oh, it's Mac stunning. Doesn't light up anymore. Hmm? The Mac one doesn't light up anymore. It won't light up anymore, no. How beautiful does that look? Oh, it looks stunning. I went for the silver again just because I really liked my silver one before, so I didn't want to like sort of change it. Um, my child, my child. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if we said the plan, but I think Aiden is going to try and fix my other laptop so we can sell it. Um, if not, set, we're going to sell the part, so at least some of that goes towards the purchase of this new one. Oh my god, it does feel a lot thicker. I feel it. It feels, yeah, it just feels a bit, a bit different to usual. It's heavier for sure. Yeah, defo heavier. It does feel a bit thicker. Not so flimsy. To use English as the main language, press the return key. A consistency meeting in, in progress. Yeah. Aiden's vlogging us. Yeah. No, he is actually vlogging us right now. Oh. Amazing. Good afternoon everyone, so it is now Wednesday, I feel like this vlog is very food orientated um, because I've just got a parcel from Degusta Box, woohoo! So unlike HelloFresh, Degusta Box is a food subscription box um, that has lots of like snacks and um, there's usually like a theme that goes along um, and you pay £12 a month and you get a box full of different goodies, you get to try different products, I absolutely love it. I've been getting these boxes since first year of uni and I just bloody love it. So 
for this box is on the go, back to school, back to work sort of vibe. So lots of like snacky bits um, and really fun things. Like I had a peek in it already and I have eaten one thing. So I'm really sorry about that, but um, I got a bit carried away. So first things we've got are the pick these pickup bars. These remind me of my childhood. I used to have these all the time in my packed lunch. Um, I've eaten one already, but this is what they look like. I'm sure everyone has had one of these, if not, where have you been but yeah this is the milk chocolate one this is chocolate and hazelnut um and i think there's a white chocolate one as well maybe in here somewhere um but yeah i was absolutely buzzed about those because they literally reminded me instantly they sort of like unlocked a hidden memory from my childhood then we've got the simply's salt and vinegar sea salt and balsamic vinegar um baked curls so these are vegan i think are they vegan I don't know, but they're like gluten free, high protein. Um, and I, I really love salt and vinegar. It's like one of my favorite, fla like basic flavors. Um, then we've got some of the Whitworth Sunny fruit mix ups and strawberries and sultanas. I'm not a massive fan of like sultanas raisins, so I will definitely be giving those to my family. Um, we've got Twinings Cold Infusions water bottles um, for water bottles, watermelon, strawberry, and mint. Aiden loves these, so he was excited when these came in the box. Um, and I've never tried them before, so I'm very excited to give those a go. Perfect for if you're on the go quite a lot, which I am. Me and Aiden are actually gonna make some wraps for lunch, and we're gonna use this. This is from Capsicana, their Latin flavor, which is Mexican chili and honey, and it's cooking paste. It's like medium heat, and we're gonna use these with chicken to make some like spicy wraps um, for lunch. Then I've got some swizzles. Oh, Great British Puds Chew Bars. The, this is interesting. So we've got like British flavours. So we've got apple pie and custard, lemon meringue, rhubarb crumble and sticky toffee pudding. I don't know how I feel about those. So that's going to be very interesting trying those. Um, we've also got some Trek bars, which David was happy about when he saw these. My family gets so excited when I get all these boxes. Um, and this is the salted caramel protein flapjacks. I haven't tried these before, but I definitely will be having one of those. Um, we've got the RX bar protein bar which is chocolate sea salt flavored this looks yummy and then we've got the great british porridge company at blueberry and banana oats for making porridge we've got me boost me mango energy blend um for tired and fatigueness i think this is like a little smoothie little carton there then we've got a drink me chai latte this would be perfect like if you've got sick form like uni somewhere with a little kitchen you want to make it on your break at work um, we've got some of the boundless nuts and seeds, which I actually have a load of. Um, and then finally, potentially one of my favourites is this Master Cafe iced coffee, which I'm about to put in the fridge and hopefully have after lunch because I need a little coffee boost. I'm going to be editing loads this afternoon, which I'm so excited about because I've got my new laptop. I had a little play with it last night and FaceTime carry on it. And um, now I need to just try and get all of my documents and everything I need over on there. Um, sort through loads of stuff and sort of have a big, big catch up today. But first... I need to wash up and make some food because I'm really hungry. So I have been editing most of the day. I had a weird nap in the middle of the day. I feel like I was recovering from something, I don't know. But I have just finished editing mine and Carrie say it or shot it. I don't know if we can physically put this up yet. It just depends on Carrie's views on it. I'm gonna put it on Unlisted so she can just double check that everything's okay to go live. Um, but yeah, so I've literally been just editing in this like scruffy, um, a vlog's just gone live which I'm so happy about because I've been waiting to like upload that vlog for weeks Only time my channel has been dead like it's the longest time my channel has been dead for so it was like freaking me out So yeah buzzing about that. I've had really nice feedback as well of people just I don't know just people being really lovely so uh, I'm gonna continue editing and then I think me and Aiden are gonna have a film night Which is very rare actually because I'm not a massive film person and we're gonna watch the lovely bones Which is an old classic. Yeah, it gave me pure nightmares <laughs> um for years i think it's one of the main reasons why i have problems sleeping but i do actually really like it i think it's quite emotional and it used to just make me really scared but now it just makes me really sad and sort of like reflective <laughs> so we're gonna watch that and aiden's never watched it before so i think that's what we're gonna do this evening um but yeah i'm just gonna carry on editing for the next 15 minutes and yeah i've had like a really random array of news over the past few days so like my head's a bit all over the place <laughs> 